Ladies, I know this is hard to believe, but I'm, uh, I'm single. What is up, guys? Hope you're all doing amazing. Have I ever told you that I'm a hustler? I am a G. I am the finest human specimen you will ever encounter. No, I've never told you that, but Andrew Tate probably has. I'm top G. And while you guys are here, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Subscribe if you are a top G. So in today's video, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to curate a Kanye West album for Mr. Tate. Songs from Kanye that I think match the personality and character of Andrew Tate. Based on what I've seen online, this guy is very masculine, holds himself to a very high regard. I've been put on the planet for a very specific reason. And I've been put on the planet to humble you. He's filthy rich, does not give a f about other people's opinions immediately we can exclude the majority of 808s and heartbreak because the top g does not have time to be depressed okay he can be sad when he's dead also from this clip and he's a joke i think it's a, it's a joke of a religion we can deduce that andrew tate is a firm non-believer of christianity so we gotta exclude jik as a whole and every other song with jesus in it okay now that we've eliminated some options right off the bat here's how i'll choose these songs we're gonna go through every kanye album and i'm gonna nominate a couple of songs that i think are a good fit and after we go through the college dropout all the way to donda i'm going to pick 10 songs out of the pool of nominations that will go on the official andrew tate inspired Kanye album. Pick it up, pick it up. Starting off with the college dropout, I think from this album we can take precisely three songs slow jams, two words, and through the wire. Moving on to late registration, I'm going with five songs Touch the Sky, Gold Digger, Bring Me Down. Celebration and Diamonds from Sierra Leone. Graduation has a ton of hits that would fit Andrew Tate's grandiose, luxurious lifestyle. I'm only gonna choose five songs from each album max. So for graduation, I'm gonna choose Champion, Stronger, uh, Good Life, Can't Tell Me Nothing, and Flashing Lights. We already tossed 808s to the side, but I actually do want to take one song from the album, and that song is amazing. Then we have the Kanye album that perfectly encapsulates Andrew Tate, and that is my beautiful dark twist fantasy, The Magnificence, the decadence, the beauty of being a rich celebrity. If I'm going to choose five songs from the album, I'm going to go with Dark Fantasy, Power, obviously, All of the Lights, Monster, and So Appalled. Yeezus is another album that fits Andrew Tate, especially when he really goes off the rails. You must look in the mirror and you must compare yourself to Tate and you must understand that you fail in every metric. You are poor, you are weak, you are stupid. Revolting, but in the best way possible. Songs I take from Jesus are On Sight, Black Skinhead, I Am A God, New Slaves, and Bound 2. Then we're going experimental on the life of Pablo. For this album, I'm gonna take Famous, I'm gonna take Feedback, and I'm gonna take Waves. On Ye, there's only one track that would fit the Andrew Tate narrative, and there would be no mistakes. Let me make this clear so all y'all see, I don't take advice from people less successful than me. Sounds like something the top G would say. Jesus is king. We already talked about it. Get it out of my face. And finally, we have Donda. A lot of great songs on here, but really only two songs that would uh, fit the album, and those two songs would be off the grid and jail part two. Andrew said it himself, he likes being off the grid, away from the control of big governments. This song in general is like the hustler's anthem. And jail part two is what you listen to when the whole world is against you. Pick it up, pick it up. So we have exactly 30 songs to choose from and we have to narrow it down to 10 for Andrew Tate because the top G is busy. I want a good healthy balance of hard-hitting, borderline egotistical bangers and more soulful, inspirational tracks. Right off the bat, I'm taking out On Sight and Feedback. Listen, I love On Sight and Feedback is great, but I want songs that sound like songs. I don't want to alienate Andrew Tate with random noises. I'm also going to eliminate Famous because of this line. If it was Top G on this song, we would have to change the lyrics from this to this through the wire while it's a phenomenal song about kanye transforming his painful experience into something inspirational it's very personal to kanye i don't see it fitting as well with andrew tate's story same with gold digger i don't see it fitting it as well as the majority of these other nominations also gonna take champion off because even though this song is very motivational andrew tate would give me a look of pure disgust he might even beat the crap out of me if i even remotely compared him and his dad to Will Smith and 
Jaden. And Slow Jabs has to go to, I only put this song on here because Twista says, I'm a G, but compared to the rest of these tracks, it's just not enough. Jail Part 2 would be an amazing song for this curated album, but the top G is too filthy rich to go to jail. No Mistakes, aside from that one line, doesn't have the quotable lyrics that these other songs have, and I'm forced to eliminate Monster because just like myself, Andrew Tate is a dirty misogynist and we can't have Nicki Minaj infesting our eardrums. So we narrowed it down from 30 to 20, let's get rid of 5 more tracks. I wanna say this, Touch the Sky, Flashing Lights, Bring Me Down, and All the Lights are all very uplifting and inspiring songs, but I just don't get the Andrew Tate vibes from them. Bring Me Down is the closest one to making it on the album, especially with bars like this. And Celebration, while I do love how tongue-in-cheek this song is, I think Good Life is a much better celebratory, triumphant, party song. Okay, so here we have 15 songs, we have to choose 10 for Andrew Tate. Let me get on here and take out Diamonds from Sierra Leone. The international asshole line is so fitting, so it pains me to have to exclude it. I'm going to take out Waves 2. I think Battle 2 is a more straightforward, extravagant love song that matches Andrew Tate's vibe. Flashing Lights is absolutely gorgeous. This song sounds like the famous person anthem, but you can kind of apply that to any major celebrity. It just doesn't give off that alpha, top G, ambient. So Paul would make a really amazing posse cut. It just sounds like Kanye and company rapping to us peasants from the luxurious ivory tower. However, I have to cut it from the track list. And finally, the last song I have to throw away into the garbage. Man, it's tough, but I think I have to go Black Skinhead. Pick it up, pick it up. The final track list. 10 songs that represent Andrew Tate based on his online presence, his personality. I also did a light album sequencing because I'm a huge nerd. All right, so two words, it's like the origin. The song details a lot of the problems Americans are facing from the crack epidemic all the way to corruption and scandals within the government. It just has this realistic atmosphere to it. It's almost the perfect backdrop for Andrew Tate's origin, especially with bars like this. Also, this guy, this top G, used to be a well-renowned kickboxer, so we gotta put some hard-hitting, motivational bangers. I chose amazing and power. I am a god is Andrew Tate at the top of the ego mountain near the end of his fighting career. He has to find a new direction. New Slaves is all about the disillusionment with uh, the American lifestyle. Kanye is rapping about how we're all slaves to materialism and we're all being controlled by corporations. Similar kind of message that Andrew Tate is talking about. Can't tell me nothing is a desire to become something greater, to leave a legacy behind by amassing copious amounts of wealth so that people can't tell him nothing. Stronger is the result of attaining that success. What doesn't kill him makes him stronger. There's a thousand yous, there's only one of me is a perfect description of how Andrew Tate would describe himself. Off the grid is that hustler's anthem. You can be filling out invoices for 50 hours straight as a low level accountant, but this song would still make you feel like the boss, the top G. Bound 2 is the greatest love song of all time. It has some really fitting lyrics and this beat sounds so beautiful and expensive. And good life is Andrew Tate living the good life. He has it all, the wealth, the fame, the notoriety, the ladies. Ladies, I know this is hard to believe, but I'm, uh, I'm single. He completed all the levels in the video game, and now he's just playing side missions. And that concludes this video. Here is the perfect Kanye West album for Andrew Tate. 10 fantastic songs for a fantastic, magical man. Which Kanye song did I leave out that you would personally gift to Andrew Tate? Top G. Peace out. Mwah.